So yeah, we've got a bit going on today. We've got a rather couple of other large orders and things that we need to get out. But this one is sort of my little priority at the moment to get this happening. And then I'll get um, I'll get back on to the second one because we're making two of these. So we're cutting extra pieces each time so that we've got a couple on the go. So again, that's just an extra bit of reinforcement. What I might do, I'm also going to stick around this edge now, although I'm not peeling it off. I'm just going to put some double-sided tape on the back edge of that, because when we finally come together, we're going to actually tape the piece on onto the back too. But this will, again, just act as another level of security. We like to make things that last. So yeah, that's just ready for later on. Now you can use little brushes and things to clean the suede board. Often what we'll do is we'll use a little bit of uh, adhesive tape and just gently go around taking some of the dust off there. I just clean it up a little bit at this stage because I want to start to get it to the point where I can put it in. We're going to give it a blow and a brush. You can use a little uh, suede brush or some of the dusting brushes to brush the nap up on the suede so that it looks great. Want to get off some of the surface dust. I'm going to put the glove in just yet, but I'll just take any off there just for a second. Basically, our frame is going to fit on here. So when it's done, we've got our box, the glove itself, it's going to come up. This actually gives you quite a good idea of how the whole thing will look when it's finished because the glove is going to come up into that box and be positioned and uh, going to look really quite stunning. So once we put this together, we've actually got quite an amount of void inside the frame here. And what we're going to look at doing is not using the suede one, but using some 10 millimeter foam board, is building some cross bracing pieces and building a network inside here to hold that front piece in. And we'll build a ledge here that will come from this piece up to the back. So it gives us a place to put our backing board and the backing board is going to come up and over the whole piece. So ideally, most of it will be with inside the rebate. Uh, we don't want it really sticking out the back. That's why we've gone to this trouble to actually make the frame so deep in the first place so that we can make it a full, uh, a full cabinet. Some people display gloves and sporting memorabilia in acrylic boxes, but uh, this one was requested to be in a frame, so that's why we're going this way. So I just want to get some glass into that. And I've pre already pre-measured, we're actually, this frame is uh, 670 by 508 millimetres. We made it that way because then we could get um, 
we're making two so we could get both out of one piece of the suede mat board. Um, it was just uh, an issue that it would save a little bit of money because it's being donated to charity that we wanted to make it as competitive as possible and uh, it, it's going to help raise more money. So yeah, we made it that size. So our good old trusty king cut glass cutter. Been through the wars a little bit over the years, but um, still going strong. So just going to give that a clean. Yeah, with the um, with the conservation glass, there is actually uh, two sides to the glass. On the inside is a laminated coating. When you actually, if you're buying the glass, sometimes it has a printed um, side that tells you which is the inside that faces the picture but if you've cut it out of a piece that doesn't have the writing on there you can always test by just scraping in the corner and I'll show you that in a sec we'll give it a little scrape so that you can tell which way around you've got to put it into the frame so I just want to give that a really good clean now We are going to have a few sometimes you build all these components uh, out of the frame and then put it together but what I'm going to do I'm going to fit the the front matting and I'm going to fit the uh, the glove into place um, and then we're going to work on um, the cross bracing, whereas we possibly will work on the cross bracing, take the piece back out again and then put it back in again. But what I want to do is make sure it's all clean straight away now because if I get it in and the cross bracing all goes in well and I can check it and there's no dust there, I'd rather put it in in one go than have to take it back out and clean the thing again. So I just give it a good clean to start with. The other thing that I can use is an uh, anti-static roller, which I'm just going to grab from my other workshop room. This is one of uh, the SDI um, anti-static rollers. They're really quite expensive, but they're uh, incredibly good value when you actually see what they do. They take all the dust off boards, glasses and everything. So we can use that. So yeah, I can use the anti-static roller on the suede board and you can see it even takes off uh, the fine particles of suede and lint. You use a piece of um, adhesive foam board to clean the roller and uh, that has a charge built into it that actually picks up dust. So that's a very useful tool to have. Also want to just give it a little bit of a blow.
Go over it one more time with the anti-static. Now I'm just going to pop that straight in. There's one more bit in there. Pop that straight in there now. And there's one little bit of dust that I can see that I've missed. Which is on the side wall in here. So again we'll just take that out. Now just so I don't get anything in there, I'm not going to put the glove in just straight away. I'm going to put a piece of board, I've got another bit of um, another bit of board there. I'm just going to pop a piece of board on top so I don't get any dust in through that hole while I'm just working out some of the other components. What I want to do is build up some of these sections and I need to build a, a piece that's going to, to come up to the edge of this um, frame that will give me a rebate to work on. So I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to build it up with some uh, with some uh, again 10 millimeter foam board and I'm going to stick that onto the walls here and then I'm going to build some cross braces. So what I'll do is I'll cut those pieces and then you come back and have a look once I've sort of got them in place.